Hey everyone, it's Mike with It's Pittsfield Tonight. I'm back for a second time today. So today is Wednesday, November 25th, the night before Thanksgiving, and I felt it necessary to do this second video. So this video is going to be specifically about what's going on with our Pittsfield restaurants. And as many of you know, about a week and a half or so ago, the mayor uh, put a ban in place on all, and she suspended all indoor dining for our Pittsfield restaurants. Now, this isn't a statewide uh, guidance from the governor. This isn't countywide. This is just Pittsfield. So you still have indoor dining in all the surrounding communities. You can still go to Lanesboro and Lee and Dalton and Cheshire and North Adams and Adams and all these places and dine indoors. You can go over the mountain into New York and you can dine indoors. But you cannot in Pittsfield. And it is crushing and killing our Pittsfield restaurants. And it is very confusing. It doesn't make sense to a lot of them. Uh, and to just be blunt, it, it's foolish. It's not smart. So um, what really caught my attention with this is the I, I've talked to a lot of Pittsfield restaurants in the past week or so, a lot. And I got a notice today from the proprietor's lodge um, that as of November 29th, this coming Sunday, they'll be shutting down. Uh, due to the mayor's ban on indoor dining, they just can't sustain doing their takeout. So unfortunately, uh, they'll, they'll be offering takeout and some great deals on that up until this coming Sunday, the 29th at 8 p.m. And that's it until it makes sense for them to reopen. Uh, unfortunately, they're going to have to lay off 45 people. This is crushing and destroying our restaurants. Last night's city council meeting during the public comment section, the first call to come through was Craig Benoy. Craig is the owner of the Hot Dog Ranch in Pittsfield. Same concern. He wanted to know what was going on. How is this right? People are, you know, you can go to the restaurants in the surrounding communities and they're packed. And there's no link to the coronavirus being spread right now in indoor dining. If everyone is adhering to the guidelines and people are properly distanced, people are keeping their masks on until they're seated at their table, uh, they're washing their hands, wait staff, they're cognizant of how they are physically, so everyone's healthy, that are interacting with people, again, masks are on, hands are washed, all precautions are in place, and there's no direct link to that. So it doesn't make sense. If this was countywide or statewide, it would make sense. This makes no sense. It's like our local restaurant owners feel like they're being punished and they don't know what for. So when he, I heard him call, and I haven't spoke to Craig personally. I did an interview with him a year and a half or so ago, but I haven't spoke to him on this topic. And But it was the same thing. His concerns were the same. What's going on? Nobody's telling us. What's the... Outlook, when do we think we might be able to reopen? What is happening here? And I know one of our city councilors said, well, you know, the mayor gives her weekly updates. She does do her award-winning red carpet, I'm sorry, <laughs> videos every Friday, but it's not every Friday. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes she skips a Friday. This is crucial. And once a week on these videos, when she does do them, She's, you know, I get it. She's reading a teleprompter. It's all read out, wrote out for her, the whole deal. But it's it's missing a lot of just talking to the people, letting them know what's happening. That could be done daily. I mean, she's got a cell phone. Hold it up. Do a, do a short video. I would do videos with her free of charge to get her message out there. I'd go to her. But anyway, I, I highly doubt she's going to take me up on that offer, but I gladly would. This is ridiculous. So please, I'm asking all of you, call your city councilors. This is crushing our restaurants and the amount of people that are going to be laid off. These are our neighbors. These are our, our, our fellow residents here. I mean, the proprietors alone is, going to, is being forced because of this to lay off 45 people. 45. That's families affected by this right during the holiday, and it's not making any sense. They've struggled enough, you know, and they're adhering to the guidelines. They're doing everything they're supposed to. And, you know, our, our local politicians, they'll chime in. You know, the only time you, you hear from some of them, not all of them, uh, 
I noticed there was an article in the Eagle regarding our a certain situation with another local politician, a county-wide politician. And, you know, to see uh, one of the city councilors who also works in the office that this politician did or our state rep get on there with the, it's fake news, fake news, there, this is fake, fake, fake. You know, haven't we heard enough of that kind of politics? Aren't people sick of that? Put that energy into these issues. Help our business owners. Help the people in the, the wards that you represent uh, that are b b dealing with the rise in crime and shootings and all these things going on. For our state rep, you represent everyone in the city. Get out there and hustle. Hustle for your, this is a time when the restaurant owners and everyone needs your input and needs you out there fighting for them. Don't worry about going to bat for your friends all the time. My God. And, and again, the fake news thing. Isn't everyone sick of hearing that? I thought we were trying to get beyond all that. Uh, it just irritated the heck out of me. So anyway, that's that. <laughs> to the restaurant owners, work together. Work together. Call me. I'll put all of you together. We'll host a Zoom conference call where all the restaurant owners can speak together that want to. I can facilitate that. I've spoke to enough of them. But get together. The old safety in numbers. That, that needs to happen right now. I understand what's happening. I've talked to enough of the restaurant owners. To the citizens and the residents of Pittsfield, call your city councilors and put pressure on them. And some of your city councilors are very accessible. You know, I don't know with all of them. I have the ones that I really like uh, because they've been very accessible. Uh, Chris Connell, Kevin Morandi, Helen Moon, uh, those three off the top of my head are very accessible and very easy to talk to. Uh, but reach out to all your city councilors. Work with them. Tell them what's happening with our restaurants. Put pressure on them to get some answers because this doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all that this is happening this way. And, and those tax receipts are going over the mountain into New York or going to other communities. And granted, I'm not trying to put down restaurants who are also struggling in surrounding communities, but our Pittsfield restaurants, we're losing them. This is going to put Pittsfield restaurants out of business. This can't go on. So that is it. I felt this was super serious, that it, it, it deserved uh, a video of its own. So I'm going to wrap it up with that. Everyone have a very happy Thanksgiving. Uh, stay safe and, you know, maybe a few months we'll be seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and, and getting back to some kind of normalcy where we can all go out and go to restaurants and mingle and see some live music. Uh, maybe you can even come see my band <laughs> among with, uh, all the other bands that I'm sure are itching and dying to play. Maybe I'll organize with all of them, some kind of big show that we can all do. Uh, there's good days that will be coming. So, Hang in there, but please go to bat for each other, and our local restaurants need us now more than ever. So call your city councilor. If you don't know how to get in touch with them and you don't feel like looking for it on the city website, message me. Tell me what ward you're in, and I'll get you that counselor's number. So again, for the third time, that's it for now. Have a great holiday, and I'll catch you all uh, on Friday.